I started um, as a means to an end to help veterans deal with their PTSD in a healthy and positive way. I went through you know, a lot of trials and tribulations myself. Uh, I went through an inpatient PTSD program. And afterwards, I realized that I wanted to give back to the veteran community. I wanted to connect with them in a way that no one else was connecting with them, and that was through art. We do everything from um, film and video, uh, photography, we do printmaking, we do painting, we do sculpture. Uh, we try to give veterans as many resources and outlets as we can to allow them to be successful in their daily lives. We're not, we're not trying to do art therapy in this program. We're trying to do art that turns out being therapeutic for the veterans. You know, we want it to be sustainable to where they can do it you know, when they, when they go home and when they go on with their daily lives, we want them to learn the skills. What we find like, during these classes is that we create these networks where they're able to you know, rely on each other in the future. So you come to this class, you, you connect with a veteran that you never met before, and they're able to talk to these veterans better, it's complete strangers, better than they've talked to their family members for the past you know, 40 or so years, in some cases the Vietnam era. So they're able to connect with these veterans instantly um, well, just, just coming to coming to a class, so it's a really uh, it's really beneficial. We have a, a great variety of uh, veteran artwork here. Um, Jim Stevens over here, he actually won first place in two different categories in the national via the national veterans art competition, which is fantastic. Um, and we do great we do great art shows here, and, and it turns out some of the art shows that a lot of veterans sell work, which is a, which is a great for building confidence to be able to continue to create work. There's no there's no better feeling than creating something and a complete stranger coming up and being moved by it in a certain way and being moved to the point where they want to purchase it for their home, um, which is fantastic. We had a Pearl Harbor survivor um, veteran that was showing artwork recently. We have a, a few Vietnam era veterans that are showing artwork. We have Gulf War, we have Iraq Afghanistan, of course. Um, it's up to any, anyone and everyone. We have a photography coordinator, we have a film coordinator, we have diff different, uh, we have a creative arts director. So if you're interested in getting in, volunteering or getting involved in any of the any of our resources, we can plug you into the right one. Okay. You don't have to be a veteran of a war. We, we, we you know we, we understand that veterans go through trials and tribulations outside of combat as well. So we're just trying to give veterans um, an outlet to you know help them enrich their lives in any way possible. There are healthy and positive options, you know, the medicating or self-medicating, you know, through prescriptions and alcohol and abuse. So you just got to find the right option for you. I mean, whether it be art or recreational therapy, equine therapy, I mean, there's all different alternative options that are out there these days that are available to veterans, and um, they're fantastic.